Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hello and welcome my dear students to our lesson of today which is going to be about two round up from the book Traveler 2 This lesson is for the first secondary stage from the second semester prepared by Amna Madkhali and present by Yasir Nakhli In this lesson insha'Allah today we will practice past tense past continuous and present perfect tense we will practice adverbs and adverbal phrases with a practice past symbol and past progressive practice time closes when while as as soon as now look at the chart and say the color not the word Okay, left and right conflict. Your right brain tries to say the color, but your left brain insists on reading the word. These are the differences between the left and the right brain. Number one, vocabulary. Choose A, B, or C. Now, number one, it took a lot of effort, but at the end, we to carry the bookcase up the stairs. Number two, Salman was very to see his father at the station. Three, I can't drink this coffee. It's too. Number four, can you this rob with that knife over there? Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, it is B, managed. Number two, C. Surprised. Number three. B. Sweet. And number four. A. Cut. Number five. Anne was watering the flowers when a bee stung her. Six. When I saw that, I knew a storm was on its way. Number seven. You should water this plant more often. It's are uh, turning yellow. Eight lots of visitors come to this museum. Okay, let's check your answers. Number five. See all of a sudden. Number six. Lightning. Very good. Number seven, leaves. And number eight, foreign. Very good. Two, grammar. Complete with the past symbol or past progressive of the verbs in the brackets. Now look at these verbs into between the brackets. Drive, crash, get, drive, again, half, walk, see break call catch now what i want you to do to complete with the past symbol or the past progressive on the verbs in brackets let's start with number one i drive i was driving to a friend's house last night when suddenly a van crash a van crashed into the back of me I get out of my car I got out of my car but the van just drive away drove away number two last night Jim have had a frightening experience while he walk home was walking home he see a man dressed in black in his neighbor's garden when he saw a man very good number eight he break into the house he was breaking into the house he immediately called the police and then uh, they caught very good now complete with the past symbol or the present perfect symbol 
of the verbs in brackets. Read the sentences carefully first, then try to complete the sentences with the past symbol or present perfect symbol. Okay, shall we start? Let's go to number one. Have you visited? Number two, go, went. Number three, have you eaten anything nice? Number four, I already tried. I have already tried lots of things. Number five, I have, I had the most amazing pizza, nothing like the pizza at home. Number six, I have been to Italy. Number seven, have you tried? Number eight, I went to a restaurant. Number nine, it was on the menu. Number 10, I did not try. Okay, grammar. Circle the correct words. Number 1. Roger has just since come back from the supermarket. Do you want to talk to him? Number 2. I have already ever seen this football match. Let's match or let's watch something else. Number 3. Samir has before never been scuba diving before ago so he is really looking forward to it number four have you rang your brother about the job interview yet ever number five I haven't spoken to Hamza for or since ten years number six have you before or ever Riding a camel. Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, just. Number two, already. Number three, never. Before. Number four, yet. Five, four. And number six, ever. Okay. Communication. Complete with the phrases from A to E. There is one extra phrase which you do not need to use. These are the phrases. A. I'm afraid so. B. How are, how are things? C. Can you give me a hand? D. In other words, you do not, you do not want to help. E. You can follow the match and help at the same time. Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, can you give me a hand? Number two, I am afraid so. Three, you can follow the match and help at the same time. And number four, in other words, you don't want to help. Listening now, listen and choose the correct answer from A, B, or C. Listen carefully, please. One. What did you do this weekend, Lenny? I went hiking with some friends from work. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Where did you go? Dead Man's Gorge. That's an exciting name. Yeah, we liked the name too. That's why we chose it. Was it dangerous? Not really. It was a very small gorge and it took us hours to get there. It was a bit of a waste of time, really. So, you're not going again? No way. Two. What are you reading? 
It's an article about French cuisine. Let me see. Hmm. Those snails look nice. Have you ever had snails? No, but I lived in France for a year and I tried other things. What, like frog's legs? That's a bit too much for me. But I once had a cactus salad. Was it good? Very tasty. Three. I was cycling in the heat trying to get home and out of the sun when my mobile rang. So I stopped at the side of the road and started looking for it in my bag. I found it and answered it, and then this bee came and stung me. Can you believe it? It probably smelt the sandwich I had in my bag. Four. Are those photos from your trip to Egypt, Grandpa? Yes. This is me on a camel. <laughs> Did you enjoy the desert? Yes, it was beautiful. It can get cold there at night, though. Yes, it can. But how do you know? Well, I read about it in a book. Okay, let's check out so the number one. How did Lenny feel on his hiking trip? Is it bored? Excited? Frightened? It was bored. Oh, he felt bored. Number two. What did Bob eat in France? Snails, frog's legs, cactus. He ate cactus. Three. What was Marcus doing when a bee stung him? A. He was cycling. B. He was talking on the phone. C. He was eating. He was talking on the phone. Number four. Who has visited a desert before? The grandfather, the grandson, or both? And the answer is the grandfather. Today, we learned how to practice past tense, past continuous, and present perfect tense. We learned how to practice adverbs and adverbial phrases. We practiced time clauses when, while, as, as soon as. These are the references, Traveler 2, Students Book, Workbook, Teacher's Guide, and Google Clip Arts. For more information and listen, please do not hesitate to call us on our website, our Twitter account, or our phone number. Thank you, and hope to see you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.